Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a fun one. Jax and I are currently en route to see Jake at spring training for basically a week. It's actually a surprise, kind of. He thinks that we're coming down tomorrow, but we decided to add an extra day to our Airbnb and come down here Tuesday instead of Wednesday because we leave Sunday. So if we're driving six and a half hours, I want to spend more time down here. So I made it work with work and everything and we'll be working remotely all this week. I work in medical sales, so everyone always asks me like, why don't you take PTO, blah, blah, blah. I kinda can't take PTO in sales in general. If you do, like there's no one to fill in and do your job and like take care of your customers for you. So I'm still working anytime I go on vacation. Even if I do take PTO, I'm still taking customer calls, emails, texts, like I will not neglect my customers. But anyways, just been driving literally all morning. We are about 35 minutes away from the facility. Currently he's in Lakeland, Florida, which is like a little outside of Tampa. I'll keep you guys updated when I get there in about 30 minutes. Try to get his reaction. See if he's even surprised or if he saw this coming, which he probably did knowing me. But yeah, check in with you guys later. Okay, I finally have service and I just checked his location and he's at Starbucks. It's very random of him. Like he only goes to Starbucks with me. I think we're about to catch him on a date. Oh God, he's calling me right now, I'm freaking out. Hey there. Okay, I muted myself. Just got to the Airbnb. Um, guess where we just pulled up? Where? <laughs> Your Airbnb. <laughs> we did what? Your Airbnb. <laughs> you just pulled up to my Airbnb? Yeah, come out. <laughs> Love you, bye. <gasps> Who is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so happy. <laughs> Jax, who is it? The longest. We left at 5:30. Oh my goodness! Come here and see me. Oh my good. Give me a hug. How are you? You're crazy. <laughs> Surprise! How are you? You want to take him to the dog park? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, Bubba, let's load it up. <laughs> Was I being inconspicuous on the phone? I know. <laughs> when you said I'm at Pilates, I just thought you were at Pilates. <laughs> You're a crazy person. Oh man, success. That's a good drop it. Oh. Found a little dog park in the neighborhood. Of course, he goes right in the dirt. He always finds the dirt. Always. Hi, buddy. Some Chick fil A for lunch. Here you go, Jax. Go here. Oh, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> hey, mom. The dude has so much energy. Yeah, this hey. is a nice dog park. Oh. Oh, big plop in the in the mud. He's getting so oh. dirty. Oh, oh God. Oh, good oh. catch. <laughs> Hi guys, it's actually the next day. I didn't end up filming the rest of the day after the dog park because we just like checked in the Airbnb and then we ended up going to like, a local outdoor restaurant on the water so we could bring Jax and eat dinner and we were just like honestly catching up and having some quality time. But today's Wednesday now, it's like almost noon. I have been working on my computer all morning because like I said, I did not take PTO and I have a lot to do this morning. So pretty much cranked it all out. We woke up around 6 30 jake actually had to wake up at 5 30 to leave for the field and i didn't really go back to sleep when he got up because Jax was like wide awake ready to play so yeah we're just hanging out at the airbnb right now i wanted to show you guys this place because it is actually really cool so this is like our own guest suite off of the main house so like we have our own private entrance and bathroom the lady that owns this place is actually really nice and cool and she has two dogs another like cream retriever like Jax, who's a girl and then a chocolate lab so so he's been playing with them the whole time. But yeah, this is it's a nice place. They have like a huge fenced in backyard for him to run around in because he doesn't get that back at our apartment in Atlanta. And then a really cool pool. We haven't been in it yet. And then she has a jacuzzi and the little outdoor seating area. But yeah, this is where I've been working all morning on the couch. And this is like the little kitchenette. It's not obviously like an actual kitchen with like a stove, but she does have a microwave, a mini fridge, sink. So I went to Publix and got like stuff for breakfast. I used to eat these literally every day in college with coffee. And then I brought some protein bars from home. We got some chips. And 
then I got some bread and ham and cheese for sandwiches, some Diet Cokes, fruit, coffee creamer, pickles, some Celsius. I've never had this flavor. I think it's new. Fantasy vibe. It's sparkling mandarin marshmallow edition. I don't know. And then some body armor. And then the bathroom is also really nice. A little shower, vanity area. Oh, is this your bed now? <laughs> Jack slept on the floor all night, which was so surprising because it's like not carpet. The pool area is so nice. So you can like close all of these window blinds, but it's so nice to have them open in the morning. So there's a lake like right there. I don't know if you can see, but we're staying in Winter Haven, which is like 30 minutes from the spring training facility. So that's why Jake had to wake up like extra early to get over there. I got this new set from Set Active and it's so freaking cute. I want like every color now. It's navy blue. Wearing my On Cloud Novas. But yeah, these are the biker shorts. And then I also got the leggings, like the navy leggings to go with this top. And it's so cute and comfortable. I think I'm gonna make lunch. Then I'm gonna go work out myself at just like a Planet Fitness around here. Cause I don't have much here in Lakeland, Georgia, not Georgia, Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> oh boy. What's about to go down, Jax? I'm going swimming. <laughs> Just got back from working out and we changed into our bathing suits. We're about to get in the pool. Jax is going to swim for the first time, hopefully. <laughs> We're a little nervous. Oh boy. I should like Google. Like how throw them in. Just throw them in. Everyone I've met that's had dogs that swim, they just throw them in. That's scary though. Like I'm scared he's gonna be scarred. You ready? I'm thinking if we throw like the frisbee and the shins ball and stuff in there and one of us gets in there and the other just throws him in. I think he'll be fine. What do you think, Bubba? <laughs> Drop it. Oh, look at Hazel. I'd love to let Hazel out here and get in the pool with you. Yeah. Next uh, Operation Get Jackson in the Pool has begun. Jesse. Isaac Ballet. Oh, go get his treats too. Get it, Bubba. Look, mommy's gonna go deeper. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, is she launching water at you? You're basically wet. Jaxie, come in. Trying to taunt him with treats. Come on, Jax. So things are going really well. <laughs> Jake just got the dog bleep scratched out of him. I did too, a little bit right there. I don't know if you can tell. What's your deal? We've thrown him in like four times and all four times hated it. <laughs> they have a chocolate lab. We really want him to come out, or her, is it a her? We really want her to come out and play with him. Cause I think it would help to like see another dog swim. But yeah, not going too hot right now. <laughs> all right, it's a few hours later. It is 5.36, we're about to go. Oh, Freaking A, I just dropped my phone. I swear to God, I dropped my phone like 10 times a day. Anyways, we're gonna go to dinner in Lakeland. Jake said there's a really good seafood place down there called Harry's, I think. And it's like a 30 minute drive too, so I think we're gonna go ahead and head out so that we eat dinner around 6.30. And Jax gets to come, cause it's dog friendly. Say cheers to that guy. <laughs> he did not like the pool at all today. And we're really um, sad about I that. I wouldn't say he didn't like it. He I was would say that. his nose in it getting the tennis balls. I think he just didn't know how he felt about being thrown in. Yeah. He had a life jacket, so like he was definitely able to swim. But I think he still was just scared of big body of water and not used to it. But yeah, we thought to roll out and get some seafood. Day. I'm about to take Jax to a dog sitter for the day. If you've never heard of Rover, it's a really good app where you can basically find like dog sitters, you can find people for boarding, but we're gonna do dog sitting all day because I'm gonna go to Tampa this morning and go to a workout class. I'm gonna try berries and then I'm gonna go to Jake's game in Bradenton. They play the Pittsburgh Pirates today. It's like an hour from Tampa. It's two hours from here, so I was like, okay, if I'm going kind of through Tampa down 
to braid in 10 then I might as well make a morning in Tampa so that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing I'm just backing up everything for the game so I have my outfit for the game and then outfit for dinner after I'm gonna grab my makeup bag if I can zip this up does anyone else's makeup bag literally just like stay open all the time and you never zip it because it's always full well that's me I'm like already dreading this workout because I know it's gonna be so hard <laughs> this set is from aloe it's I think part of their airlift collection. I just love this little cross detail. I think it's so cute. I also just love their leggings so much. One, I love the material, how it's like kind of shiny. If you're gonna try one thing from Aloe, I would try their airlift leggings or just like go ahead and get a set, you know. He's like eyeing this tennis ball, but he's terrified to go in. I think we scarred him from the water yesterday. Poor thing. I just parked at the stadium, made it to Bradenton. It was like an hour drive. Literally parked right next to the stadium, which is nice. Just did all my makeup really fast. I think it looks kind of crazy, but that's what you get when you do your makeup in your little car mirror. Also, I was going to stop by a Planet Fitness on the way here and like run in there and curl my hair really quick, but I'm like, that's just kind of weird. You know, I'm not working out. The guys in the front are probably gonna be like, what the heck is she homeless but yeah that's why i brought this hat i'm like very decked out in tiger stuff now navy blue i ended up just going into a few stores i went into aloe free people and abercrombie and i only got stuff from aloe and abercrombie they have this new color i actually got an email the other day saying that they just dropped this color it's called infinity blue but it's definitely more purple like I showed Jake the email and I was like, I want to go to an aloe store and get this set in this color. And he's like, that's definitely like a periwinkle. And I'm like, where did you even learn that word? I think he's right. I think it's more of like periwinkle purple, but I really like it. I don't have any sets in this color, really any workout clothes in this color. So this is the Airlift Intrigue bra. I get a size small in the sports bra and then I get a size extra small in the leggings just because I like them to be really tight and like suck me in. So yeah, that was from Aloe. And then from Abercrombie, I just got another workout set. I have a problem. I actually really like their fitness line. It's YPB, little crop top. And then I got these matching leggings that are also the same color, token black. I like that they kind of like are a V down in the back instead of just like straight across like Lululemon. I think that's just like a lot more flattering on the behind. And then I got, okay, I lied. I did get a sweatshirt. <laughs> Just because it's pink and it's fun. I don't have like a sweatshirt this color. So yeah, super cute. I think it is a little cropped, maybe. Maybe it just hits you at the hips, but also Jake will be up north for the next seven months. So when he leaves here from spring training, spring training ends like March 26th or 27th or something. So he's here for a few more weeks and then he'll go up north to one of the affiliate teams who doesn't know whether it's double A, triple A. They don't really know until the day that they leave. But wherever he is, he's gonna be like deep north anywhere near michigan like outside neighboring states i feel like stays pretty cold through like at least april may correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i've personally never been to michigan i've never been to ohio their double a's in michigan their triple a's in toledo ohio which i think is like the northernmost part of ohio it's like basically michigan and then obviously the big league team is in detroit michigan so those are potential places for him this year so regardless it's going to be freezing whenever i go visit so definitely do do still need to be buying winter clothes because I really don't have a lot living in Georgia. We don't experience like a true winter, I feel like. But anywho, I need to run into the game because it started an hour ago. <laughs> He's also a relief pitcher, so he usually comes in like middle of the game, end of the game. So that's definitely a perk because I don't have to be there like right at first pitch. Did I bring shoes? Crap. Guys, I did not bring shoes to wear. Oh yes, I did. All right, time to go in. It is the next day. It's actually like two. 
I've been working all morning, very abnormally busy Friday. I had to take Jake to the field this morning because he left his car there before the game yesterday because it was away. And so we just like never went back to get it. He had a bullpen this morning and now he's on his way back. And me and Jax are about to go on a walk. We went on a long walk this morning. We went like on an hour walk around the water because like the lake's right there and they have like this long sidewalk around it and then like a pier and everything. And so we went on that. I don't really know what we're gonna do the, the rest of the day. I know we're gonna go to Disney Springs tonight for dinner and I'm so freaking excited. Excited. I was like looking at restaurants while I was working. I was like, I don't even know what restaurants are at Disney Springs anymore because we haven't been in like four years. I think the last time we were there was like, okay, buddy, I'll take you out. I think the last time we went there was like 2019 when his spring training was in Orlando with the Braves. But yeah, Disney Springs is only like 40 minutes from where we're at in Winter Haven. So not too shabby. So I think we're gonna go do dinner there. I also saw that they have a Gideon bakehouse or whatever it's called and i've seen it like all over tiktok like the humongous chocolate chip cookie with like a million chocolate chips and that just sounds so amazing so i think we're definitely gonna get that for dessert and then i don't know where we're gonna eat i think the last time we went there we went to like a barbecue southern place called the plight pig and it was really good but i think we're gonna try somewhere new this time yeah happy dog now thank god he was driving me crazy i was on the phone and he would not stop whining so i had to like go to the bathroom and hide from him and finish the call <laughs> oh what a life he's a mess want to try this new celsius flavor fantasy vibe sparkly mandarin marshmallow edition let's we'll see how that is it honestly sounds kind of gross maybe it tastes like like a cream tickle or something oh i'm saving that one for jake so i'm just gonna have an orange one the orange really isn't my favorite either. It's okay, it does the job. I'm also gonna have a protein bar. These are really the best. Built Bar Raspberry Cheesecake. It's so fire. Okay, we're gonna go on our walk. You gonna go on a walk? <laughs> Jake should be here in like 15 minutes. And then start to get ready for Disney Springs. All right, we just got dressed to go to dinner. Okay, this lipstick is definitely too dark for this dress. So I'm gonna have to that. It's almost five now. We're going to skid out all out of here. I really like this dress I'm wearing. It's from For Love and Lemons, but I got it off Poshmark. Yeah, this is too dark. I gotta take it off. I got it off of Poshmark for like $60. I think it retails for like $180. Don't sleep on Poshmark. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my hair. I kind of want to do like half up, half down and pull it back with this pretty gold clip I got from Target the other day. So I think I'm gonna wear gold earrings. Okay, can I live with that? I don't know. That could be fun. What about a little half up, half down piece? Love it. You like it? Okay, got Jake's approval, that's all that matters. Comment below if you're watching OBX. I already watched season three, I watched it twice already. <laughs> I definitely think season two was better than season three. I love all the like the actors and actresses. Like I love Madeline Klein. His name's John B in real life, right? No, his name is Chase Stokes. No, it's John B. I'm like blinded right now. Are you ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Let's go. This is Jake's outfit. Little Lulu shirt, right? Yeah, a little Lulu and then Lulu khakis and bands and a backwards hat. Jack, what's your outfit of the day? I'm naked. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Oh, big stretchy. I'm obsessed with him, if you can't tell. I almost had a slight panic attack. I got a speeding ticket on the way here and I haven't told Jake yet. I'm gonna tell him like when I leave. The ticket was literally sitting right here. Hide it real quick. Hide the evidence. <laughs> Just girly things. Can I have a oh my god. <laughs> that looks insane. <laughs> Guys, I wish you could actually understand the size of this cookie. It weighed more like than summer when she got it. <laughs> I feel like I've already eaten half of it and there's still so much left. Mm -hmm. Good morning. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm just a kid. I'm just a little kid. Hi guys, Jake and I just had dinner. What was the place called? Palace Pizza? Palace Pizza, one, two. Palace Pizza, it's Fuego. One, two, it was three. like pizza by the slice. The boy. And it was like Detroit style pizza. Or it was like deep dish and it was so good. I forgot to film there, but I got some kind of like. What is that? <laughs> we got dessert, clearly. 
Um, I got like a meat lovers pizza, and then we both got like this bruschetta pizza. Yeah, it was like a bruschetta pizza, but with they had grilled chicken on it too. Oh, there's chicken on it. I didn't even notice. Yeah. And then Jake had buffalo chicken, and we both had their garlic knots. Did you even eat the garlic knot? Crushed it. You did? It's so good. It's a good garlic knot. It's amazing. And then I was like, I need a little something sweet. Yeah, always. Summer is craving sweets as always. Always. Look at this guy. I'm shocked she still has teeth in her mouth, the amount of sugar she eats. I think they call this the Devil's Food Cheesecake. Devil's Food Donuts, folks, for those who haven't had them. Wait, I haven't had them. What? what? The, you, know, you know the, um, they're like the blue and white box at Publix of donuts? No. I've never gotten they come in double. They come in double stack. They're like pre-packaged donuts, but there's a... There's a devil's food flavor. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. You put them in the fridge. Oh, are you talking about Antimons? Yeah. Oh my God, yes. yes. Okay, Antimons. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but put them I in think, the I fridge. Did, I feel like that's right. Yeah, you put them in the fridge. I like the original, and you put them in the in the fridge, and then you dip it in milk. My papa taught me that when I was a kid. You're Literally gonna KO me. so good. Oh You're my gosh. KO me. Anywho, we're going to try this little cheesecake action. Is that what so that is? Excited. It is cheesecake Yeah, confirmed. I think so. All right, so you got to get a little bite of everything, I feel like. We're gonna get a bite of the cheesecake, bite of the chocolate, and then a bite of the chocolate cake. Here we go. Oh, that's a little baby bite, whatever. The author that I read just added a sixth book in the series that no I've been way. reading, so I gotta, I gotta. Are you serious? I gotta get to work. <laughs> okay. See, this is what I deal with. Okay, here you go. It ain't the Cheesecake Factory. It's not cold it's enough. It's nothing great. That's where Cheesecake Factory does it right. Because mm -hmm. when they bring out a cheesecake, that thing cold. And that thing is thanging too. Ooh. You give me a Oreo Dream Extreme. Hey, cuidado. Poppy. There is no cheesecake like Cheesecake Factory's cheesecake. What's the the uh, tuxedo cheesecake? Oh yeah, we had that one at our wedding, right? God almighty. Or wedding shower, I don't remember. Cheesecake Factory in general though, like we were talking about this the other day. We love Cheesecake Factory. I feel like Cheesecake Factory does not get the love that it deserves. No. People kind of crap on Cheesecake Factory. They think it's like tacky and like in the same world as like Applebee's. And I'm like, that's just rude. I got it being fire. I got the menu being oh, fast. I got the so pasta good. being really good. Everything. Anywho, we are Cheesecake Factory stands in this family. I haven't had it. We haven't had it since last spring training. Though. I know. I'm going there Monday for Jake's Nana's birthday because um. I'm leaving tomorrow today saturday i'm peanut butter and jelly jake has a game tomorrow so i'm gonna go there i was gonna leave in the morning but when he told me that i was like okay i should wait and watch him i haven't been to the home stadium yet either like the tiger stadium because the game on thursday was away in bradenton against the pirates it's so nice yeah nice. so i haven't been so i'm excited so i think we're gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video i don't know what that will be peace <laughs>